So now we're going to look at how to use the visual library. It is added monthly and updated and can give you a lot of uh, free uh, templates to use and I will show you how they work. So you have landed on the site and you are in the resource section of the monthly library. I, I'm in August right now. So this opens right up in the site and then you just click and you can see what level and ages or actually which level of, and grades these are for. This is a math for kindergarten through grade five. Uh, these are also English language activities, ELAs, English language activities, K through five. And then we also have more of the English language activities as well as math and then these are libraries which we will explore as well for you and these are more libraries so let's go back and let's look at I'm interested in let's check one I would like to go to inferences with photos so I will click that link that'll take me there to go back I just click the sand house at the bottom and that'll bring me back to that page so let's go back here and these are inferences with photos by Trang Lee and you just click that photo it will lead you to the template now these are templates they can be taught inside of the class like this unless you want to change them and then you would click on the top right and use the template. And here are the directions and you can play the videos as well. And so there's the video. It explains it for them. And then you will go to the next slide. And this is also for people that have Pear Deck added. I don't use Pear Deck. Other people do. So you can add Pear Deck to it. And then they can draw on the slide. And then they can make inferences about the photos. So this is a wonderful lesson. And now, like I said, if you'd like to use this lesson to teach, you can teach this. And there's just so many slides. How many does she have here? They, she has 41 slides. So if you wanted to use that and save it into your drive, you could hit use template and just wait for it for one second. And then you have all of them here and you can edit them any way you see fit. If you want to add your own uh, Bitmoji, you can, but I love to give credit to people that have made the lesson, so I would keep it just the way it is. I would not even save that into my drive unless there was something I could not use. So that's how we navigate and use the library. So this is our August library. Um, and so the libraries from now on, I have my assistant going in. She's added, adding to the charts. I designed the library behind it. And then they're totally visual. Now, I mentioned I wanted to show you what a library was. It says library. So if you see library, what you do is you will click it here. Go into that lesson to check it by clicking the photo. <coughs> Excuse me. And then they are, there are tons and tons of books that the kids can hear. And usually libraries are only on one slide. And then they, you just click on the book and then it will play for you the story for the students. So the, these are really great resources in the class as well. If you want to make your own to add your own Bitmoji, you can, and then you use the template. But I don't do that. So this, I hope this helps you understand more about the libraries and these are updated 
every month and they can contain anywhere from 40 to 90 slides depending on how hard we were <laughs> working that month. Have a great day. Enjoy.